Delish. Yes, they are. So our first match is gonna be Kyobi. Kyobi versus Bound? the Biter. The Biter. The, the Biter. Biter. Do you know who Kyobi plays? Uh, Weavile. Weavile. Right, 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 right. And oh, and Pikachu. <gasps> Pikachu Libre. Are you guys ready for this? Uh, hold on, hold on. When it happens, we'll let you know. We will let you know what is happening. But if you've seen an Inimer stream before, you know what's gonna be happening. I thought we were gonna have um, game volume. What happened in game volume? It's gone. Get wrecked. All right, well, here we are. I believe this is actually just getting right into it. Game one. Game one, round one. The Biter versus Kyoko. Going in now, light homing attack? Yeah, what's the regular homing attack? There's, there's no stronger light. But Pikachu with a very nice counter. Oh, what a good combo. Nice electro web. Boom. Getting that defense. Yeah, that was really good stuff. Keep up on the file. Oh, but the Mega Slam! Well, you've been waiting for it. <laughs> Going in the finish of this mode. We got Reva. Very, very quick Pokemon. Both of these Pokemon super quick. Yeah, and in that Synergy Burst mode, her, uh, all of her abilities are crazy. So her uh, range attacks stuff more traps. Her uh, movement options are just better all around. Oh, and a very solid counter. Getting the biter off. Ooh. Oh wow, these combos, man. Ooh. Oh, but a very solid electro net, electro web coming out from the biter. Nice grab counter. Yeah. Dang. Um, I, can you hear me? Maybe. Hello. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. I get him. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Yeah. I believe this mic's rule out. Sorry yeah. about that. Uh, no. All right, round two. Kyo, the Viper actually taking round one. So I, I didn't even see the end of that in the first round. Yeah. Nice grab. Yeah, very good grab, switching it right into dual phase. And uh, Kyobi just kind of zoning out with these ice platforms. Very nice grab, knowing he's holding on to shield a little bit too long. Oh, but a very nice trap sets up for a homing attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, but he uses his synergy boost first to get the biter off of him. Very, very smart stuff. That's going to do lots of damage. Now, the biter is going to have to find some ground. He's struggling to find an entry, but he just as I see it, the man uses an aerial attack approach, but Kyobi looking to take this man to the walls. Wow, great stuff. Not all the damage, but it just looks so cool. Oh, trying to finish this man's... <laughs> uh, there is a counter. Great stuff by Kyobi taking that first... Oh, yeah, no, sorry, that round two. Taking round two, now going into round three of game one. Round two, game one. Round three, game one. Round three, game one. Round two, game one. Pikachu using the projectiles to get into dual phase. Throwing out that support cube bone. Put yeah. the pressure oh. on. Oh, and a nice counter. Yeah, yeah, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, the biter using that uh, synergy burst activation just to get Weavile off of him. And a nice get up grab is going to take him back to the field phase. And he's going to get that synergy burst increase. Oh, that's going to be Kyobi getting that Pure sonic slash. Pure unscaled damage. Yeah, unscaled indeed. I thought uh, the, I thought the uh, Weavile would have had that attack buff, but it didn't. That was wrong. That would have been so much damage. Oh, and the counter. Is that going to do it? No, not quite. The Biter is on his last limb, but the good normal attack to stop that grab. Oh, but the the strong hit, the forward strong hit is going to come out and take that man's game one. I think that's, that's back A, right? I think that's oh, actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah, back A, uh, what is that? A little bit knockoff? Fury swipes or night slash? I think it's knockoff. All right, getting right into game two. The Biter versus Kiyobi. First game going to Kiyobi. Yeah, game one taken by Kiyobi. So, best all, all these are best of three sets till we get later in the bracket. So this is potentially the last game. 
A nice counter from Kyobi. Yep. <laughs> and got into dual phase, but once again, that counter. This Pikachu Libre needs to be more careful about getting caught in using all these abilities because the Kyobi is just very smart about when to place these counters. Nice. Trying to go for that Electro Web, but Kyobi throwing out those normal attacks to get through it. Yeah, that was a great normal attack combo to bring him back into the field phase and a home attack right back in the dual phase. Oh, oh. nice. Wow, that was interesting movement options. Canceled the counter twice. Now Pikachu Libre is buffed up throughout the support Pokemon. Still hitting. Gets <laughs> combos. Oh, no, not quite. Oh, he's sitting in shit. He should be okay. Didn't use a button. Oh, but he gets the home and attack. Now it's a very, very close game. Pikachu Libre going in the synergy oh, mode. And a discharge. This might just be able to... Oh, and that's it. Nice. Great stuff by the Bite. I believe that was up Y? Upper, upper? Yeah, that was his up, up strong his attack. Strong attack. Cool, yeah. cool. Great stuff. Good. Very close matches. Yeah, very close matches. Here we are in round two of game two. Oh, once again with that counter, but Pikachu Libre was able to be a little bit safer on it and not get hit by the counter attack itself. But Revile bringing him into dual phase. Not with a lot of damage, but we're still here in dual phase. So, it's the Grand Slam. The <laughs> Grand Slam. And empowering Pikachu Libre, so now his abilities are enhanced. Oh, runs into the support Pokemon. Yeah. Unfortunate. Oh, and a grab is going to bring him back into dual phase. Yeah, back into dual phase. Is this it? Nope. Kyobi trying to throw out that synergy, hoping that the biter is going to go in for something, but not quite catching him. And a great anti approach option and electro web enhanced. Going to do that wall damage as well and bringing him back into field phase. Very solid stuff by the by the biter with that attack buff as well. Another counter, nice, nice. Yeah, Kyobi is very smart about these counters, and a discharge might just be it. That's it. Yep. Double full uh, enhanced discharge, and both of them charge. So charge discharges. A charge, supercharge discharge. Super duper charge a discharge. Super charge. Going into game three. Yeah, game three here in the very first round in winners. Round one, game three. This is the last game between the two players. Let's go. Yes. Mega. Slam. We're going to be at the Haunted House stage. I love this stage. This is like probably my favorite stage, actually. Yeah, it's oval. Yeah. It's, dig it. And just the background's cool. There's books flying around. Like, man, that's awesome. So Weavile in the field phase, just setting up the traps and getting the homing attack. Good stuff. Doing a dual phase and the empowered uh, strong attack. Oh, the knockoff. I believe that is back A. I believe so. Nice. And a counter is coming out again. Kyobi is so solid with these counters. But the counters, unfortunately, aren't enough to just take the game. Oh, but a very smart. Another oh, my goodness. The man's got most of his damage from, uh, from counters at this point. If he's going to approach with the normals, it's working. But an Electro Web going to bring him back into dual phase. <laughs> Not happy about that. And another Electro Web. Oh, but he's shielded. Blocking. Yep. So oh, it's taking it down to one HP. Wait. But that is going. Normal his attacks are going to beat those grabs. Round one going to Kyobi. Let's go. Good stuff by Kyobi bringing it back. He went 2-0 the last game, and uh, now he's just playing with confidence and able to uh, possibly make a little cutback here and win game game three. Wow. Trying to get the wall combo. Doesn't get it. Oh, but another. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was really, really smart. That was actually a, a Mega Slam counter input, but it, because he hit him in the air, it, it doesn't go into the, the actual quote-unquote grab fight. But he countered the counter? Yeah, so he countered the counter hitbox. So I see. once if you're holding counter, it doesn't like you can negate normals. But the second you throw the hitbox out, a counter will beat that counter. Ah, so it's it's weird. So Spider actually confidently taking that round two. So now we're going in round three, game three. This is going to be the last round here in this first set. What a great comeback for the Biter, playing very patiently. Another counter from Kyobi. Yeah, the Biter's just going to have to play more patient and realize that he can't just go in with normals all the time. He's got to be a little bit more safe with his options. 
but that is gonna be the counter and a wall combo into a mega slam. Damn, enhanced mega slam. With a now he's getting that attack boost and it's enhanced. So one more of those, that's gonna bring up real low. Collecting the synergy gauge <laughs> boost, that's cute. Trying to save that synergy boost as much as he can. Ooh, but a good approach on we by Weavile. Hits the grab. Yeah, you can't sit in that shield for too long. Kyobi either reacted to the shield or just threw out a grab. But to me, it looked like he reacted. But an ice trap into a homing attack, and they bring him back into dual phase. Just throws it's out the synergy burst. No, yeah, he's shielding. Yeah, Definitely shield. shielding. Throwing out that uh, support Pokemon. Jumping off the wall, getting his defense bust. Buff. Another uh, counter. Oh, but a very smart anti-air. Oh, getting counter, but shielding the counter. Oh, very smart this time, grabbing, being aware that he's going to use those and throwing it into the ground. Very low HP. Oh, oh my goodness, the counter by Pikachu Libre. This could be it. Oh. Weavile, oh, just barely. <laughs> wow. Knowing he was going to grab, attacking through that grab, Kyobi taking game one. Wow. Great stuff to Kyobi, being aware that that grab was going to be thrown out, using a normal attack to break that and taking that game as well as the set. So great stuff to both players. And while we're at it, quick shout out to the KO Gaming Lounge. What a nice facility to be uh, commentating at, as well as as a player. It is just a very, very beautiful venue. Very.